Look, does the John Madden football series really need an introduction? They are obviously named after Pro Football Hall of Fame coach and commentator John Madden and made their first appearances on computers in 1988 and home consoles in 1990. It is a mega popular EA franchise spawning a ton of games over the years. And sitting there quietly in 1993, sandwiched between the Genesis and Super NES versions, was John Madden Duo CD Football on the TurboGrafx Super CD. I was definitely the only one in my neighborhood playing this version as a kid. Sadly, I had to buy another copy because my original was damaged. This is a long story. But if we take the shrink wrap off, we find this to be in a double CD case. Why? Because the manual is huge and it comes with a fold out poster showing off all of the various plays. Ah, new duo CD smell. If we thumb through the manual, we can see why it's so chunky. Pages 17 through 54 have every team listed with a ton of info. Damn. But how is the game? Well, it's actually quite good. At the opening screen, we have some awesome music, along with John Madden being all like, Turbo what? Do a what? If you don't hit anything, it flows into a little segment that is very pixelated, but kind of cool, and then it transforms into an ad for the game we're about to play. TTI presents the latest in digital video technology. Weird. Then we head to the game setup screen with a lot of available options. We start with game modes, which offers a ton of ways to play. One notch down is the number of players, including one player, two players for co-op or head-to-head, -head, and demonstrations. Next, we pick our home team and visiting team. Let's do Pittsburgh for my buddy Bob and Cleveland for a co-worker. <laughs> we are licensed here, so we can choose from a bunch of teams from the past, circa 1993, when the game came out. Some teams actually no longer exist, which can bring back a few memories for fans. Next, we have quarter length, the type of field, and even different weather conditions. I love the snow for some odd reason. Of course, if you're in the dome, that doesn't even matter. John Madden gives his text evaluation on the matchup. <laughs> Ouch. And then we're off to the game. Unlike TV sports football, you can participate in the coin toss, which then creates your first full motion video segment of the game, the toss itself. You have a couple more selections, and then everyone takes the field. Honestly, if you're familiar with the Madden games on other consoles at the time, you won't be lost here, as the gameplay is pretty much the same. The controls are easy to figure out, with buttons 1 and 2 taking up a ton of the action. However, you do need to get used to hitting the run button as well, since it basically counts as one of your main action buttons. That actually tripped me up a bit at first when I started playing, and I know a lot of people dislike this. There are quite a lot of actions to speak of, depending on where you are in the game at the time. As a whole, I'd say the controls are rather solid and very Madden pick up and play. My running game in John Madden has never been too bad. And passing the ball is so much easier than in TV sports football, with indicators above the players showing where the ball will go. You just tap the button to pass it to that particular player. Easy. Well, when it's complete. <clears throat> Kicking the ball isn't bad, but can be tricky as you try to line up the meters. <laughs> oh wow, that was way off. You basically control a play from the moment the ball is snapped until it's dead by hitting the various action buttons, changing out players closest to the ball, etc. Or you can simply call a play and watch it unfold. But first, you need to select the set and formation. The playbook is quite large in this game, offering a bunch of strategic choices. 
John Madden's personal choice actually appears underneath the one window. Then everything plays itself out. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Can't catch me! Dog! Dog! So close. First down. Ugh, okay, come on. Oh, come on. All right, fine. I'll just kick it. Notice the various full motion videos popping up? Well, that is one of the selling points of this particular version of the game. You get the referee flying in, helmets floating across the field when injured, and even measuring chains to see how close you are to a first down. Most of them are kind of cool, although somewhat cheesy and obviously for its time, quite grainy. You could tell the developers had fun going out and setting up these little segments to film. They tend to slow things down a titch as they have to load from the CD, but still, that's just crazy silly and charming, and for some reason it works with this game's personality. At least it always did for me. As for the rest of the game's look, the graphics are colorful and sharp and work well. Sadly, they're not as good as other console versions from that year. It's good. The animation isn't too bad, and some of the extra detail, replicating numerous jerseys and player numbers, is also very welcome. The constant cheering of the audience always sounded very realistic to me, raising and lowering as the events proceed. All of the speech is pretty good and quite clear, but the grunts and groans during tackles? They never worked quite that well for me, lacking some real oomph. Sadly, this Super CD has no halftime show. Well, except for Madden dancing around in the corner of the screen. I'm sure glad he skipped the cheerleader outfit for that one. He provides some current stats and shows off a quick replay of something cool that happened in the first half. The same thing repeats at the end of a game and then poof, back to the title screen. It's a bit anticlimactic. John Madden Football is a great franchise, and I'm so glad it had the chance to shine on the short-lived Turbo Graphics. While this version doesn't look as good as the others of the time, some would say the full motion video clips are stupid, and hitting run can feel quirky at first, I can't deny that I always had a great time with it. Many initial options help to customize your experience, from playing a simple game, to a sudden death overtime match, to having teams knock each other around in a John Madden tourney. The game has a rather fast pace and things always seem to be moving. Plus little touches, such as zooming around the field during a timeout, help to hold your attention till the last quarter. <laughs> Do, you... Do you think those are just the programmer's kids and, hey get up there, we're, we're shooting something for the game. I, just, I don't know. John Madden Football on the Duo is a really good football game. I don't know that it's better or worse than the other console versions of the time, but it definitely holds its own as a unique version of the game. Between the cheesy FMV and CD quality audio, it's definitely a great one to me. There's something simple about this whole game, and sometimes simple is just plain fun.